welcome to this uh, radical chain polymerization uh, lecture in which in this lecture we will going to discuss about the different modes of uh, propagation see in uh, polymer reaction engineering there are three major steps initiation propagation and termination so in the previous uh, lectures uh, we discussed about the concept of initiation with the help of various polymerization schemes in C2 and in these schemes we, we covered the, the different type of polymerization steps, classification modes, etc. Apart from this, we performed various comparative studies between the two polymerization schemes. Just for the example, in the previous lecture, we discussed about the comparative note between radical and ionic chain polymerization. Uh, thermodynamics and kinetics, they play a very vital role in all kind of uh, chain polymerization or especially the radical chain polymerization step. So, in the previous lecture, we discussed about the thermodynamic and kinetic approaches to this radical chain polymerization. Apart from this, we had a discussion about the effect of substituents in the radical chain polymerization. So, in this particular lecture, we are going to start about the effect of propagation radical chain polymerization scheme. Now, let us have a brief look about that what are the different topics we are going to cover under the head of this particular lecture. One is the mode of propagation of a monomer unit. See, in the previous lectures, we discussed about the concept of a propagation. Here, the monomer units are attached to the either backbone or they combine to each other so that the chain length of uh, uh, these polymers may go on the higher side and subsequently the molecular weight of these uh, polymer chains may become big, big and big. Uh, that is why uh, we need to look uh, a special attention. Apart from this, uh, we know that uh, the molecular weight plays a very vital role in the property deciding factor in the, the polymerization scheme. So, uh, based on this particular concept, uh, we have to keep an, a close eye to this uh, propagation step. So, that is why we will discuss about this propagation step in this uh, particular chapter. Apart from this, uh, we will have certain experimental facts uh, which are duly enlisted in the literature and we will give you a due reference to those uh, literature so that you can have a look about uh, those things in detail in due course of study. Then uh, we will discuss about the various uh, segments of head-to-head uh, -head, uh, polymerization or head-to-head -head polymer synthesis. So, let us start about uh, the modes of uh, propagation uh, of uh, various uh, monomer units. Now, you see uh, for a vinyl group, uh, the alpha carbon, uh, they can either have one functional group replacing maybe replacing by one hydrogen or two functional groups uh, may be replacing both the hydrogen attached to it. In both cases, there are uh, two possibilities for chain propagation, maybe either on alpha carbon that is carbon 1 or on the beta carbon that is carbon 2. Two. So, let us have about uh, a brief example of this particular uh, mode of uh, propagation through this uh, particular concept. Now, let us uh, A uh, and B, they are two functional groups. So, uh, when B may be replaced with the hydrogen, it is, uh, it is called mono substituted and uh, B may be any functional group. It is called bi substituted. So, um, in this case, we may have this type of thing here. carbon, beta carbon and this one is alpha carbon. Similarly, this is uh, the your initiation 
radical. Now, it goes to different cases. So, let us have a first case in picture case 1 that is on alpha at carbon. So, if it is go if it goes to alpha carbon then this may be represented like this. You see my original reaction was this one. Right. Now, similarly, if we consider the case number 2 that is on beta carbon. So, it will become this uh, may become like this. So, this is the case 2 where we are having this on the beta carbon. Now, by this way uh, you can see or it uh, clarifies the fact that um, uh, this can propagate either to beta carbon or alpha carbon. Now, there can be two type of chain propagation as you see here. This is the one type and another one is the second type and uh, either of both cases happen in a successive manner. So, uh, the final uh, product uh, will have some uh, arrangement, arrangement as like this you can see that uh, this polymeric chain uh, become more and more populated like this. So, this type of uh, arrangement uh, is also called head to tail arrangement or 1 3 placement. So, this is a very you can say the popular one and uh, in this particular lecture we will refer as type 1 type of arrangement. Now, let us have a brief look uh, about the type 2 type uh, type 2 um, arrangement. Now, um, these both cases uh, happen simultaneously developing an uh, inversion condition. Now, this inversion condition is like this C you can see who over here the difference uh, uh, between these type 1 and type 2 it is uh, clearly indicative that at this juncture you can see this juncture it is more prominent. Now, here this is B, this is uh, you can say referred as tail to tail type of arrangement. So, uh, th these two you can see that uh, by this way in both the types uh, we are having the the placement uh, of uh, different monomer chains. Now, this type of uh, placement uh, is also called the tail to tail or head to head placement. Either you can say head to head placement or it is tail to tail type of placement. So, this is uh, the way through which uh, uh, you can represent the things. Now, in uh, uh, real situation both uh, type 1 and type 2 type of placements they can occur together. However, it is found that uh, steric and resonance effect developed in case 2 
which we discussed in, in the previous slide. The head to tail placement usually preferable over uh, this kind of a propagation scenario. Now, the developed resonance effect in case 2, this increases the stability of uh, radical hence uh, you can say more similar kind of radicals are present in the reaction mass. Uh, if you talk about uh, case number 1, the functional groups, uh, they are not present in conjugate pair. If you recall, we discussed this conjugation aspect uh, in the previous lecture. So, they are not present in the conjugate pair, hence the resonating effect cannot be seen. Therefore, the, uh, the approach uh, like uh, subsequent attachment of a propagating uh, radical to unreplaced carbon referred as a beta carbon of monomer molecule is uh, much less sterically impeded compared to the alternative carbon approach that is alpha and carbon if you recall the slide number 2. So, alpha uh, carbon. Now, a propagation process usually involves uh, primarily head to tail type of a placement it is a selective region process that is uh, one orientation of head to tail is preferred over another uh, uh, thing of uh, head to head. Now, this uh, uh, phenomena is termed as regio selective uh, process. There are uh, certain other processes uh, like uh, iso regic polymers, these polymers with a unique head to tail placement. Similarly, syndioregic polymers, these polymers uh, uh, chain with the alternating head to tail and head to head placement. If you see that we discussed uh, in detail about these head to head or head to tail type of a thing. So, uh, uh, you can see there are different permutation and combination for uh, orienting these chains. And uh, whenever this type of uh, things occur, the property of uh, the developed polymer is ch uh, usually changing drastically. Uh, third one is that regic polymers, these polymers are having the random head to head and head to tail placement. So, there are three different uh, places where in one you may have uh, a unique head to tail placement, in the second one you may have alternate head to tail or head to head placement and the third one where you are you may have head to tail and head to head placement in a random order. So, in all three type of a situation you may experience the different kind of properties. Now, let us have a look about uh, some experimental facts uh, which we collected from uh, various literatures and this may be very much useful for you if you wish to have a further study in this kind of uh, uh, scenario. Now, uh, there are so many researches have been conducted uh, by various uh, uh, renowned researchers to understand the chain propagation pattern. Most of these uh, research they confirmed the about uh, uh, the discussed point. Now, one thing is that the occurrence of uh, uh, not more than 1 to 2 head to head placement in different polymer of vinyl esters uh, such as polyvinyl acetate. This was determined by the polymer hydrolysis uh, with the help of a vinyl alcohol and uh, periodic uh, oxidation of 1 to glycol units. So, um, Hayashi et al, they discuss this thing and they find out uh, some interesting uh, results um, and that is these 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 results are attributed in this uh, uh, particular slide that they find out that uh, this one the one to glycol now this one this period it, they gives so this is uh, uh, one part of the literature another thing is that uh, these propagations cannot be predicted through any set of uh, chemical reactions and if you see that uh, uh, we have developed some uh, some rotating pattern now the use of high resolution nmr uh, nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, this including 1H, 13C, um, F19, 
they have uh, uh, found a reasonable good approach for characterization of these type of uh, um, uh, developed polymer. So, um, by this way it is extremely helpful to understand the behavior of whatever polymer being generated in due course of time. Now, using these characterization techniques, uh, we can understand the fact of head to tail selective propagation. Now, this is uh, uh, some brief concept of uh, um, the NMR. Now, another thing is that uh, research found no observable uh, head to head uh, positioning uh, for polystyrene polymerization and that is attributed to the Henkel in 1995. The only exception occur uh, when the substituents on uh, the double bond uh, which we discussed uh, is small that is they not pose any kind of significant steric hindrance uh, to the approaching radical and they do not have uh, a significant um, resonance stabilizing effect particularly when the substituent is fluorine. So, it is a very case sensitive type of thing. Uh, the availability of uh, head to head placement in uh, fluoride uh, functioning polymers such as uh, polyvinyl fluoride, polyvinylidene fluoride uh, etcetera. Now, uh, they are found at higher amount uh, uh, which is approximately 10, 5, 12 and 2 percent respectively. So, uh, Guyatt et al and uh, Odian et al they found this uh, availability of uh, head to head placement in different fluoride functioning polymers. Uh, sometimes uh, 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 people considered about the role of operating temperature. So, operating temperature possesses very moderate uh, but positive effect on increasing the degree of uh, head to head placement. So, this reflects the positioning of uh, this uh, particular concept. Now, another uh, uh, um, approaching part is that uh, the head to head content in uh, polyvinyl acetate. Uh, it increases from say 1 to 2 percent when the temperature usually rises from 40 to 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, so, the increase of uh, say PTFE uh, polytrifluorine ethylene uh, they rises from 10 to 14 percent when the temperature rises from minus 80 to 80 degrees Celsius. So, George Odian he uh, discussed and he find it out a very useful thing that uh, the increase or decrease in the temperature of any kind of a polymerization reaction sometimes play a very significant role in uh, synthesizing the different type of uh, the polymers. Another thing is that uh, when we talk about the head to head polymer, so several polymers uh, uh, they composed entirely of head to head placement. They were purposely synthesized uh, to determine uh, um, if they are major variation in the properties compared to uh, the head to head placement polymers. Now, such polymer synthesis uh, involves choosing a suitable monomer for the specific head to head placement. Now, this particular example was set up by the Kawaguchi in 85 and later on it was modified by Vogel in 2000. Uh, the head to head P, uh, PVC is obtained by 1,4-poly, uh, 1,3-betadine chlorination. We will take at, uh, this particular concept as an example. Now, this is uh, uh, head to head poly vinyl chloride. Now, you see now you can see the the, the formation of this Now, similarly, if you see that uh, we discuss about uh, head to head uh, polystyrene, now this is uh, the polystyrene, this is the phenyl ring which we are not going to show. Now, if we perform this hydrolysis it may give you
Now here you see the synthesis of these two. So, this is you can see that this is the head to head uh, uh, PVC and this one is the head to head the polystyrene. So, this is again uh, a good concept need to be addressed while uh, taking into consideration of this particular approach in detail. Marshall et al, they compared the head to head and uh, head to tail polystyrene by thermally stimulated discharge using uh, um, the depolarization depolar uh, technique and uh, high dielectric strength. Um, so, they observed uh, that head to head placement as compared to head to tail placement uh, um, with the help of this high dielectric strength. So, depending upon the type of properties required for a particular application, these variation uh, you can obtain in this type of uh, synthesis. Now, in this uh, particular brief lecture, we discussed uh, about uh, the head to head and head to tail uh, formation and uh, polymerization protocols and uh, we carry out certain literature approaches in this uh, aspect. Now, we have uh, enlisted very important uh, um, literature for the further reference of uh, these concepts. Um, thank you very much for paying attention.